We cannot tell you who the boys from Brazil are, only that they are not science fiction. History has shown how one man with a dream can turn the world into a nightmare. Can history repeat itself? The Boys from Brazil starts where that nightmare left off. But for the dream to live again, 94 men must die. Gregory Peck is the architect of that dream. Laurence Olivier is the man who must destroy it before it destroys the world. This is Regina Curry of Pearl Productions Publishing and Distribution. Um, the lesson to be learned here is don't make deals with the devil. People think that this cloning thing is far-fetched, you know, some far-fetched idea, but it's not at all. I don't know if the scientists who are experimenting with this right now are doing this for our benefit, but cloning is happening. I mean, and it's happening at a greater rate than people even understand. We are, it seems, on the verge of possibly the most remarkable scientific breakthrough in human history, and the most controversial, too. Within months, some scientists say they will have cloned a human baby. What was once thought impossible now seems unstoppable. In America, tiny human life forms are already being cloned for medical research. So is it only a matter of time before scientists take the final step? Now, you may greet this with awe or horror, but imagine a world where death could be cheated, where a lost child could be recreated, where children could recreate their dead parents. This week, Liz Hayes has been in America talking with the people determined to make history. We are a part of history. It's uh, forever. It will be uh, uh, like Adam and Eve. It's the first human being created through, through human cloning. His name is Rael, and he heads a wealthy, well-organised religious sect whose faith is science, and whose ambition is to use existing technology to clone a human being. In a very real sense, we are doing away with Mother Nature, creating children in our own image, our exact image, from cells of those who have already been born. We are manipulating the cycle of life. I, I'm not saying I'm totally against this. I'm totally against it right now, at this point in time, with what we know. I think we have to start considering what the implications for us as a society, the world, the world society, are when we start progressing in any step, anything we do with science, what the implications are. I guess it gets down to people believing that we're playing God, but you don't yes. believe in God. There is no God. There is no God, so we are playing intelligent human being. Some people think you're mad for doing it. Yep. But you're prepared to wear that. Yes, I am. Didn't Kevin Hart say he was a clone? He's everywhere else, and now he's on Sports Center. Kevin Hart, star of the new film Central Intelligence, joining us now. Uh, how, how do you do it? Every, I look on Twitter. There you are. Yeah. Facebook. There you are. Television. There you are. How do you do it? I have a clone. I, I was, I was going to say that. There's two of you. Cats out the bag. Okay? <laughs> it's about a good three of me. Uh, you know, we broke it. They didn't want to release it yet. This is major news that I'm giving you. All right. I'm the first person to ever use it. I'm cloned. Okay. All that's right. I appreciate I'm, it. That's why I'm able to do all that I do. All right, uh, movie coming out this weekend, what was it like? Okay, he was just kidding, right, I know. But listen to this Dr. Chris Raynor. I think he's a Canadian surgeon and sports doctor. And he talks about the injuries Kevin Hart had or he sustained in his car accident and how it's a miracle that he walked away from it, that Kevin Hart walked away. Recap, so apparently on Sunday morning at 1 a.m. in the morning, Kevin Hart was involved in a car accident. Now, at the time of the accident, Kevin Hart was not actually driving, although they were driving Kevin's car. Kevin's friend, Jared Black, was apparently driving Kevin's brand new, well, new to him anyway, 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. 
So this brings me to what I want to talk about today. If Kevin Hart had injuries severe enough that he needed to undergo emergency surgery at the time that he was taken to the hospital, then how is it that he was able to extricate himself from the car, walk all the way home so that he could call 911 on the telephone? How do you do it? I have a clone. How do we know if we're looking at the host, meaning the person like Kevin Hart, the original? I mean, didn't he say he was a clone? Years ago, I was listening to this uh, whistleblower uh, working for the federal government. You know, he was high up. I mean, it's just a really interesting story. I can't think of his name. It's been so long ago. But he was the one that mentioned the boys from Brazil, the movie. He said that the government was actually cloning already and they were using at that time the same kind of scientific method as the people on this movie so i really believe that they have been cloning people for a very long time and um and even if it's not a clone that they do have doubles for people that they send out they have doubles for the presidents you know um they have a lot of doubles for these people but you know maybe this is all a hoax for publicity as some have said you know the the greatest marketing scheme of the day they clone tyrone i mean everyone wants to see the movie now you know because of all of the hoopla that's going around and did they really clone eric bishop also known as jamie fox too my goodness you know not to mention there's so much inf misinformation going around also about ice cube confirming that jamie fox had been cloned indeed and you know I, I i looked around and i was like my goodness ice cube said he was cloned you know and um i <laughs> there's several of these uh youtube uh, youtube is just deceptive anyway i mean that's a whole nother story but anyway uh there's several of these channels that i looked at and they all they all have the same formula and what they do is they give you the title uh ice cube confirms that Jamie Foxx has been cloned. And then you listen to the video and the video is nothing but a bunch of different snippets and cuts from other interviews put together by the presenter, the YouTuber to tell that story. And I just think that's so misleading. And I, you know, and so I don't know if they're doing this, like they're a part of the scheme, you know, all of this is a part of the hoopla for this movie coming out or I just, it's so, everything is so crazy. It, it's just, it's really crazy. Have you guys heard of the Beatles <laughs> and the conspiracy behind the Beatles? I mentioned this because, you know, a lot of people back in the day and that time thought that this whole conspiracy theory with the Beatles and Paul McCartney was for a publicity, uh, it was a publicity stunt. So I'm not sure, but it was really big in the 60s and there's a theory that Paul McCartney died in a car wreck and was replaced by a body double named William Shears. So the man that you see now as Paul McCartney current day is not the original Beatle, uh, according to this theory, of course. It's really some guy named William Shears, Billy Shears. Believe it or not, you know? And so just, just listen to this for a sec. On today's episode of Strange and Unusual Tales, we're gonna dive into the history of one of music's biggest urban legends and see if there's any truth to the rumor that Paul McCartney died in 1966. Together, collectively, they thought Paul McCartney had died. I understand that they still do. McCartney was killed three years ago in an auto accident and a double put in his place. The gist of the theory is that after an argument during a Beatles recording session on November 9th, 1966, Paul McCartney sped off in his car only to be decapitated in an auto accident when he lost control of his vehicle. The UK security service MI5 advised the band to find a replacement for they feared that if the news of Paul's death got out, mass hysteria would spread among Beatles fans, leading to civil unrest and possible mass suicide. 
The band held a Paul McCartney lookalike contest, and the winner was a Scottish orphan named William Shears Campbell, otherwise known as Billy Shears. After undergoing some minor plastic surgery, the Beatles taught him how to sing, act, and play music just like Paul. Luckily for Billy, his job was made easier. Crazy, right? All of it, just a bunch of chaos. It's just, everything is so deceptive. Be very cautious out there in these YouTube streets, man, because it's a bunch of deception. I mean, <laughs> I, I, you know, but anyway, I wrote a blog on my website back in October 2022. The blog is uh, called God Honors the Covenant. I was kind of grieved that all of the celebrities that were dying, it, was, it just felt unnatural. The Anne H thing where we saw her alive and then this they said she died. I mean, that, that kind of stuff is kind of uh, traumatic, you know? And so I prayed about it. And my answer was contracts. And the thing is, these people sign contracts. And so, you know, they when you sign a contract like that, you're going to have to pay up one way or another. So as it pertains to your life, my life, you know, we can't get sucked in into all of this chaos and deception and confusion in our world, you know? We really can't get sucked in. God tells us that the adversary comes to do three things, kill, steal, destroy. And actually it wasn't until I got older that I even got the revelation and the understanding that he, the, the adversary can't do anything else. Those are the only things that he can do. Those three things, that's how he, he has been commissioned you know, so he can't do anything else. And so if you read, I don't want to go into too many scriptures, but I'm going to go into Revelation 12, 12 real quick. I just want to read this because this is basically one of the scriptures that inspired me to write uh, Mark years ago. And Revelation 12, 12 says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knows he has but a short time. And we're in that time, people. So all of this cloning and craziness that we're seeing right now and this deception that we're in right now, it's, it's, we're in that time. You know, he, the devil knows his time is up. And so he's just going to cause a, a ruckus. And so you have to be stable. I have to be stable, centered. You know, we have to stay focused um, because we can't get caught up in all of this chaos. I mean, it's really, really too much. Take heed of your home. Get your house in order as I'm getting my house in order. Protect your home as I'm trying to protect mine and find your superpowers and dig in because it's going to get crazy and it's definitely going to be rocky. But in the meantime, we do know that Jonathan Peterson is on his way to finding out the consequences of his choices. He chose to heed the call of his grandfather and join the army of God at his grandfather's church, but he never expected to be able to jump over trains. Mark is a trilogy following the life of Jonathan Peterson, who God uses in supernatural ways. God fills him with dunamis power and gives Jonathan supernatural abilities. Make sure to download your copy of Mark, the beginning of the end. There is victory ahead. Check out some of my blog posts and meet me back here for a live discussion about Mark. We'll discuss all of the hoopla around Mark and then all of the ruckus that he's causing. Does God have an army in the earth? Is my book prophetic, as I would say, or is it just Christian fantasy, as some of the publishers say? Well, this is Regina Curry. Be blessed. Have a great evening. Good night.